Okay. I left it on for an extra night. This is the end of uh, stage two. In preparation for oh, for stage three. <clears throat> Best way to do it is to get the washer. I know this is probably common knowledge to some of you, but I'm trying to do this like a tutorial. So you get the washer and you pop it under that lid bit. No problem. Alright, let's see. Ooh. It's starting to look good. Okay, so we got the balls left in there. I'm gonna let them sort of drip for a bit. The barrel's pretty much clean. And these are the rocks. So we'll get them over here and uh have a better look at them. At this point of the process, we want to uh, inspect all the rocks. You want to have a look at them, look for cracks, stuff like that. Um, they just look so much, they, they, it's a lot of fun doing this. Um, they look amazing. Um, right now they're wet. I'll turn the camera around and show you. So yeah, right now they're wet. They're gonna look rad anyway. I'm gonna set this guy out. Apparently, for some reason, I haven't found any information on actually why, but apparently you have to keep these uh, these guys, you have to keep them wet. I think that's so that the grit doesn't dry out on them and sort of make it harder to clean it, but we'll see. I'm gonna let this guy dry to show you the difference from this, shiny and wet, to this, dry. But you can see that it's like a matte finish instead of a gloss. Not as, not as pretty looking. Then back again, wet. This is pretty much what you're gonna wanna hope for in the final stage. This is pretty much um, the, the shaping stage is almost done. This is the end of stage two, beginning of stage three. Um, that's where you know, you use, you're still using a little bit of fine grit and then it's basically a pre-polish. Getting the last little divots and stuff that make it look matte when it's dry. Um, and then the polish will take into effect. But this round is round three. And um, I'm at the point now where I have to clean these off. Give them a quick scrub and make sure there's no grit left over from from this round, from round two into round three. You gotta do this every every round. So these videos may become um, repetitive. Now, this guy was the one that I was talking about in the last video. I said I was gonna skip around with him. What I decided to do, because I didn't, he did look a little bit more porous last time. What I decided to do was put him in halfway through. So after three days, I opened it up and just plopped them in with the other rocks that were, um, that I'd found to be a lot softer. They've worn down a hell of a lot more than what the other rocks are, but I think now it will be a bit safer. The grit's not as, the grit's starting to get finer and the grit should not have as much of an effect on the rock apart from polishing it and getting it ready for polish. Mm, it's looking pretty. Gotta be happy with that. Hey. All right, gonna clean him up to the water. So what I'm doing is just basically rubbing all around the stone. Like that. That, that one's pretty much done. If they have a lot of um, divots and stuff like that in there, or cracks, give them a big clean. But if there's cracks, you're supposed to take them out. I don't. I haven't had any problem with it yet, but I just don't like wasting any of my rocks. So. Also before you uh, put it all back in your tumbler, you wanna make sure the barrel, especially the rim around is clean. But I mean all of it, all of it, because any grit that goes from this round to the next will affect it. Some people who do it on a larger scale will, um, will actually use different barrels for different 
stages. So they'll have a barrel just for their first stage and a barrel for their second stage, just so that they don't risk getting any grit transferring from one stage to the next. And I mean, you've really got to get in there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's the white stuff. I'll see if I can show it. No, it's a bit hard in this light, but anyway, you get, get right in there. Sorry if this is boring, but I wanted to do a series of almost tutorial, like on, from what I know of tumbling, which honestly, this is my second batch. But even in saying that I've learned some things, that's nice and clean. I've learned some things even in two, doing two runs of, of rocks that I wouldn't have learned if, you know, if I hadn't made the mistakes. Making mistakes is okay sometimes. <laughs> it's the best way to learn. Um, now I'm gonna get these guys. Fill up the barrel a bit more. Keep them from getting cracks. All right, the beads are in there. I'm gonna fill it with water, then put the put the grid in there. And I know this may seem tedious because it's uh, what I've shown in the other videos, but this is the process of doing it. You gotta do it each time. I'm just gonna fill it to there. So that it's just at the level of the rocks. Now the grit. The grid I'm going to be using is um, the Step 3 pre-polish, so 600 uh, silicon carbide again. Still going to want to put in three tablespoons of that. This stuff is very fine. Like, I don't know if it's bad for you or not, but I dare say you don't want to be breathing this stuff in. So I'm going to do three of them. Don't breathe it in. Okay, so I, uh, you can see it's easy to get some grit around the edge. So you need to clean that off. Once that's done, pop the lid back on again. So that's in there. Make sure you get a good seal. Repeating myself again, I know, but you're gonna repeat yourself. If you're doing this at home, you're gonna be repeating yourself four times, five times even. You wanna make sure that that's down nice and tight. Washer on, nut on. Nut doesn't go that way because it's meant to go this way. This little groove here is going to run on the groove on this little metal housing that it sits on to keep the barrel from going up and down when it rolls, when it tumbles. So that's this one done. So step three is underway. Going to give it a week and. Um, Hopefully next Friday night it'll be ready again. Thanks for watching. Okay, so that's that little bracket I was talking about. That's where the groove sits on from the barrel. So you always want to make sure you pop it on there. I'm using the law term. That's for this machine. You can see it's on there. You, uh, turn it on and let it roll for seven long days. <laughs>